right, we're here at Teratonga um, and in Vicargo for the first round of the Endurance Series, South Island Endurance Series. We're just getting the car set up and we're about to go out for our first practice session. We just got the telemetry going so we can see all Andre's sensors, all the data we need to know where he is on track and what lap times he's doing. It's so hard to tell now in practice because you don't know what other people are up to. If they're just like warming up or getting a feel for it. It's like there's nothing in your rear view mirror and then it's like boom, it's GT cars right yeah. up in your business. That's what me and Alan like to do on the weekends. trying to figure out if we've actually brought enough fuel with us. No, it's a small oversight for sure. But what we've got here on the data is uh, it's calculating the amount of fuel that we're using for every lap, which is this little number here. So we're using about 1.3 litres of fuel every lap. So we're probably going to be doing around about 50 laps, depending on safety cars. So depending on how much practice you want to do today, it comes down to how much fuel we're going to use. Plus we've got qualifying tomorrow, so we might be a little bit tight. You live and learn. So we have a leak in the diff seals that the axles go in. Uh, it's dripping down on the exhaust and it's causing a lot of smoke. So we're going to pull the axles out tonight. Ben ordered some new diff seals. We'll put them in, put the axles back in, and that should cure the oil leak. It's really slippery. Still did a did a 1047, which is a PB. Didn't feel like a great lap, but um, it's nice now having the traction control adjustability on the steering wheel. So I found I could actually tweak it as the tyres came up to temp. But um, yeah, scary with that R8 GT3 just flying past like you're standing still. But yeah, cool. Really happy with it so far. Oh, I turned the traction Plus, control off. Sorry. Yeah, Plus third gear, like. Oh. <laughs> Hand out the window, yeah. yeah! I think I got a fan and I started a new Instagram account. <laughs> so we're just at the end of our practice day before racing tomorrow and uh, it's been pretty productive, we've learned a little bit. Uh, this track is quite tight through the back section and we've got a car that's got a reasonable amount of power, not a huge amount of grip, it's got a small slick and absolutely no aero. So I did a 1047 but the whole back section of the track you're sort of really feathering the throttle trying to uh, fight it breaking out into oversteer. Uh, so we made the decision to try uh, softening up the rear sway bar. The aim of that is to try and get a little bit more drive out of the corners and uh, it's not a night and day change but I took it back out in that last session and it does seem like it's made a bit of an improvement it definitely felt a little bit more positive and uh, could get on the throttle a little bit earlier so didn't actually relate to a faster lap time because I was stuck in a lot of uh, traffic so it's quite hard here with all of the cars on track at the same time to piece together a good lap but qualifying tomorrow hopefully we'll get that opportunity got to the racetrack for day two so it's race day today about 8 30 in the morning at the moment there's a little bit on the go we've got our drivers briefing at 9 a.m and we've got qualifying it's a 20 minute session at 10 so i'm going to go out in the car first we've got some brand new rubber going on the car the tires we were running yesterday were pretty old so we're hoping we might improve on that 1047 a little bit so i'm going to go out probably do about 10 or 12 minutes of that session do a driver change ben's going to jump in the car and finish off that session 
session. While we're getting the car ready here, we've got Brandon working on the car. We got a mechanical black flag yesterday for some of the oil leaking out of the diff seals and getting onto the exhaust. So we've got Brandon working some Irish magic coming up with a makeshift solution that's going to stop the diff oil getting onto the exhaust. So that's what the uh, people in race control were seeing yesterday. So that's the plan for today. Let's see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, there's just like a lot of cars. I was really struggling to get a clean lap. You'd either pick up a slow car that was warming up or a fast car would come up behind you and you sort of had to give racing room. So yeah, it, the tyres were amazing. It's got a lot more in it, but really to represent the lap time, I think I did a 1048. So a lot more in it, but uh, yeah, tyres are, are sweet. Everything's working, happy days. Uh, just putting out the brakes on one of my last laps, I got a long pedal coming into the last corner, which is a little bit disconcerting. So I would like to be able to rely on the brakes. So yeah, just Give them a quick lead before the actual race, which starts in 20. I'm quietly confident that we can finish the race. I don't ask for much. Yellow at flag point one, car off driver's right. Something in the ass, but I got something avoiding that. Are you all good? I think so. Yeah, I think there's something hanging out the back. I'm just going to keep driving. Didn't really do any damage, it was just a gentle shunt, so it kind of settled down, got into a bit of a rhythm. Uh, it's definitely done something, didn't quite sound right, and uh, you know, couldn't quite pick it, but still felt fine under full throttle, so just kept on trucking. Uh, heaps of safety cars in that session, I think we had two uh, cars go off into the gravel, so that wasn't that helpful. Uh, but yeah, by the end of it, I was circulating pretty comfortably in the 105s and having a good race with a TCR Audi in front of me, so happy days. Let's see how Ben goes. Wow. Yeah, we've got the diff wheel avoiding either side of the exhaust. Not getting on there, not causing smoke. I'm really happy with how the race went. I got a 105.6, which I was hoping to get a 105, so really happy with that. And we finished the race, which is another big positive. Um, also, we had a little issue at the end there with our bumper just destroying itself and flying off, which seems to happen most races, so we'll get something a bit more substantial on the back there. Next race.
If you like that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week. And if you like free stuff, we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson.